Hey, Russ with Rockwall County EMS here with a brief video on ECG lead placement. This is a presentation on stickers and where to put them on the body, and that's it. Uh, it's geared towards our FROs, our first responder organizations, those guys and gals with the local law enforcement and fire agencies responding with us on medical calls. Uh, and for you YouTubers out there, this can also serve as just a brief refresher as well. Here in Rockwell County, we're using the Philips MRX Heart Start Monitor. Uh, differs just slightly from what most are using, the Life Packs. And then there's a few oddballs out there like us. Uh, they're using Zoles. Uh, and then maybe some others out there that I just can't think of. Now, most all this stuff is fundamentally the same and should translate over just fine no matter what you're using. Uh, but there's one difference worth mentioning for us. Now, on these monitors come two bundles of wires. The first being the limb lead bundle. And that's going to have four wires, one for each limb. And then along that bundle of wires is an attachment point for the precordial lead uh, bundle. Now, that's what we're using to get our 12 leads, more in-depth look at the heart. It's a little misleading though because there's only six wires there and those six wires plus the four limb leads somehow gives us a 12 lead ECG reading because math. Now, that's most monitors right there. The Philips Heart Start MRX, though, is a little bit different in that the limb lead bundle only has three wires, and that missing uh, green limb lead is really just kind of lumped in with the precordial leads, and it's only necessary to put that on if and when we decide to get a 12 lead. So until that point, we don't even need that fourth wire on the Philips Heart Start MRX. Uh, let's talk about proper placement of those limb leads. Now, you really should be placing these limb leads on the limbs, um, if at any point you plan on getting a 12 lead uh, because it's been well proven uh, if you don't believe me look it up on NCBI there is a, an article originally posted to a postgrad medical journal in 2005 that's more than 10 years ago by Jowett et al clearly outlining the inaccuracies that come from improper placement of those limb leads when obtaining a 12 lead. All to say is if you're not putting those limb leads on the actual limbs, you can get all kinds of false positives, false negatives, and just all kinds of muddy waters when you're trying to obtain a diagnostic 12 lead. So just put them on the limbs. Now with the Heart Start MRX, those three wires, uh, helpful memory aid is white on the right for the right arm, and then smoke over fire for left arm and left leg. And for those of you using the Philips, uh, or not using the Philips Heart Start, instead Life Packs or whichever ones have the four leads, uh, we're going to switch it up a bit. Remember, white on the right, but clouds over grass, and now, just as before, smoke over fire. Uh, when you're placing these leads, no matter what monitor you're using, try and place them over the meaty parts of the arm, anywhere along the arm, just avoid the bony processes. Now that might be hard for, say for instance, the geriatric population, skin and bones, no matter where you put these stickers, you're putting it over bone. Uh, just do the best you can. Now, if you can't remember the memory aids, look on the back of the wires, right there where the wire connects to those disposable electrodes. They should have two letters corresponding to where those things go. However, sometimes they're rubbed off after years of use and cleaning. And if that's the case and you can't remember the sayings, uh, I don't know, make it up and hope for the best. And if you get it wrong, well, just know the medics are going to make fun of you after the call. Moving on, we've got our limb leads placed accurately. We want to get a more in-depth look uh, at... Uh, the heart tissue itself. We want to pinpoint the heart with the precordial leads V1 through V6 to get that 12 lead and to do so we're going to place them all along that curvature of the heart right there. So starting with V1 and V2 we're going to split the sternum in half and come down just a touch and V1 is going to go off just to the right side of the sternum and V2 just off to the left. Uh, it really should be technically in the fourth intercostal space now, that's the space in between the fourth and fifth rib, but for those of you not routinely doing this, it may be hard to palpate or find that. Uh, just as long as we're within a few millimeters, this should be fine for the pre-hospital setting. Now, you'll heal incorrectly. Uh, some people refer to the mammillary line or nipper line uh, as a guide for placement for V1 and V2, either right along that line or just above it. However, most of us know that that mammillary line varies from patient to patient, sometimes pretty substantially, so using it as a landmark, an anatomical landmark, is inherently flawed, so just don't do it. We're going to skip V3 for a moment and go to 4. 4 is going to be mid-clavicular, or splitting the clavicle and left side of the chest in half with a vertical line, and we're going to place V4 right under the left pectoral muscle. Uh, some individuals, male or female, may have a lot of adipose tissue there, and if they do, after explaining what you're doing and why, just use the back of your hand, gently lift up that adipose tissue and place all these remaining leads. We're going to skip V5 and move to 6, 
to establish a landmark, and that's uh, mid-axillary, or lift up the left arm, split the left flank in half of the vertical line, and place V6 along the same height as V4. Now, V3 and 5 are super easy. V3, split the difference between 2 and 4, and follow that curve that I drew earlier. And V5, same thing, split the difference between V4 and V6, kind of along that same vertical height. That's it. Like I said, short and simple. Uh, as always, this has been Ruck, Russ with Rockwall County EMS. Uh, till next time, keep your head down, watch your six, save some lives, and do some hero stuff.